here and today I'm going to show you how to make your own 3d video game and this is part two I already showed you guys everything that you have to download and everything you need so we're going to open up 3d rad all right so my project loaded and you can eventually make something just like this a fun and easy to play video game completely in 3D. This is actually a car model that I made in Google SketchUp, so we'll have more on that later. Let's go to Project and select New. We have a completely blank screen. So first we'll add an object and we're going to add something called a skybox. So what a skybox does is it it comes up as a sky. So it's basically the background of your video game. You can configure the skybox and change it to whatever area you want. So I'm going to go with this. Click OK. Next we're going to add another object. And this time we're going to add a terrain. So now we have a terrain in our virtual space. We can look at it from all angles by using the mouse, clicking and dragging around the mouse. If we want to move this, we can move it to one side or to the other, up or down, and front, forwards or backwards. You can't really see it from here, but it is moving. You can also rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it a little bit just for fun. You can turn it and you can rotate it the other way too. Next we're going to add another object and this time we're going to add something simple like a ball. So let's move this ball up. Let's move it over here. So here's a ball, but now we want it to go down and we want it to hit the terrain. So with the ball, we're going to click the terrain up here and that way the ball will hit the terrain. And now to add gravity, you want to select something called G-Force and you can put this object wherever you want and point it towards the direction you want the gravity to go in and we're also going to link that to the ball too so now we just hit space and watch what happens as you can see the ball just rolls right down the screen now if we want something to follow the ball or a camera to follow the ball then we'll go to object, add, and we'll put camp chase. We'll move this camera slightly out of the ball. In fact, I'm going to move it back here, and then I'm going to turn it towards the ball. So now it's facing the ball. So now we're going to click with cam chase selected we're going to click the ball again wow I said the ball a lot so now this will chase the ball and you're going to wanna make sure that it says chase right here so let's click OK and let's see what it looks like it 
you can now see the background and as you can see the camera isn't moving very fast so we're going to fix that we'll go into cam chase and we'll go to translation speed and we'll make that nine 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 no nine nine seven click OK and now let's see what it does this is the speed at which the camera can move so now it's following the ball and it's actually below here so what we're gonna do is move it up and now you can see it works pretty well that's it now what if we wanted something else instead maybe something you can control such as yes I do such as a car we'll go to object add and we'll go to car now we'll put that in there and in fact I'll move the sky the the terrain I'm sorry a little bit so it's not as tilted and the car can drive a little bit better Oops. alright so now let's click the camp chase with the car again and we'll with the car selected again we'll hit the terrain and g-force and now if we hit enter we can see the car going and we can make it drive with our arrow keys but what if we want to make this car look a little bit better that's what we're going to focus on right now so I'm going to uh, turn around the car and I'm going to go I'm going to select the car and go to object add and I'm going to go to skin mesh now we're going to go here and select uh, a car that we want so basically skin mesh is um, something that it's how your uh, rigid body or car or whatever it's how it's going to look so we changed that Whoops. and now this is a custom model that I made I'll have to fit it a little bit better so I'm going to rotate it a little bit and I'm going to move it to the side and now we're going to select the car so that the skin mesh will be attached to the car now let's go to hide uh, car geometry where is that oh here and we'll hit that so now it looks like we're driving this car Whoops. I messed up a little bit but okay and this is actually another custom model from SketchUp that I made. Alright, so what if we want to change how the wheels look? We just right click on the wheel, go to Object, Add, and we'll go to Skin Mesh. Now there's a skin mesh in the wheel. So let's change that to a tire and I have to rotate that whoops wrong direction so it looks like that alright I'm gonna move it back just a little bit and now that it looks good we're going to click on the car and then we're going to go back to the car and click hide wheels geometry this is just one wheel you should do it with all of them but I want to save time and now you should have a one wheeled car please rate comment and subscribe for more great videos follow us on twitter at twitter.com slash future invent Check out our Facebook page. It's called the Future Inventions Subscriber Page. All links will be below in the description.